Hello everyone, welcome to Train Me Buddy. This is Siddharth. In the last part of this video, we had gone through how to create store procedure using simple select statement and also we have used parameters to filter data from a table. In today's video, we will go through how to use insert, update and delete statements inside the store procedure. Also, I will show you how to use multiple queries inside a store procedure. So, let us get started. In the last part of this video, we had gone through how to create store procedure and we have learned how to create store procedure with parameters so that that can be used to filter data from a table while selecting the data. So in this video, I will take you through how to create store procedure with parameter so that we can use that to insert the data into a table. So for this, I will be using a employee table. So let me show you the data first for the employee table. So let's have the query to select the data from employee and let me execute. And here we have the employee data with employee ID, first name, last name, email, phone and salary. So we are going to insert all these data using the store procedure. So let's create a store procedure for that. So let's have create procedure. Then let's give a name as insert employee data so this is the store procedure name and let's have ads then let's have the begin and end so before we have the insert query let's have the parameters which we are going to send to the procedure to create a record in our employee table so let's have the parameter so at the rate emp id as i'll be defining as integer type so then next one is first name and this is of type worker so let's have as worker for the string type and let me give the length as 50 so similarly let me have last name as worker then email as worker and then i'll be having phone number and salary so let's have phone so i'm taking worker because i am going to use a dash between the numbers then let's have salary as let me have it as float to get the decimal value so now we have all the columns required to insert into our employee table now let's have the query to insert data into the employee table so let's have insert into then employee and the column names so employee id first name last name email phone and salary then I need to provide the values which I am going to get from these parameters. So let's have the values, start bracket and bracket. And inside this, I will be taking all these parameters in the same sequence of what I have defined in this insert list. So I will be getting EMP ID, first name, last name, email, phone and salary okay so now our create procedure query is ready let me comment this select statement and execute and the query is completed successfully so let me see in the store procedure folder under programmability and here we have the store procedure insert employee data created so now let me execute this procedure so let me have exec then we need to provide the procedure name so i can drag and drop here and let me pass the parameters and here as you see the intelligence will be showing you the sequence of parameters available in the store procedure and it will be easier for us to input the parameter value so now let me have the parameter values so i'll be having employee id first as five then first name let me have a first name ramesh then last name and as you see here, I am providing a single quote to enclose the string value. However, I am not using a single quote for the numeric value. Then let me provide the email ID, then phone number, then let's put a salary. So before we execute this procedure, let's select the data from employee table to know what data we have. So here we have the employee data with the employee ID 124. So we are going to insert the employee data with the employee id 5 so let me execute this execute procedure query 
and one record is affected now let's see the data from employee table and this record is entered into the employee table so this is how you can create a procedure with the parameter to insert the data into a table so here in this procedure we are using one query to insert the data into the table however we can have multiple query also so let's say after inserting the data i want to select the data from employee table so let me have the query after this insert so first of all it will be inserting the data into the employee table then i am going to select the data from the employee table so for this let me modify this procedure by having the alter command and let me execute this okay so now let me have this execute procedure query to insert the data for employee id 6 so i have put the employee id 6 first name as alan then let me put the last name then email phone then the salary and let me execute this procedure so now this procedure should be inserting the data with the employee id 6 and also it should be selecting the data from employee table so let me execute this query so now difference is i have inserted the data for the employee id 6 and also i am getting the output because i am having a select query so this is how you can have multiple queries inside the procedure based on your requirement so now let's see how to use store procedure to update data in a table so for this i'll be using the same employee table and let's see the data and let's say i have a requirement to send the employee id and based on that i'll be updating the values for email so for this let me have a store procedure with two parameters with employee id and email so that i will be sending the employee id and based on that email will be updated so let me have the procedure as create procedure and let me have the name as update employee data and let me have as begin and end and let us define the parameter so i will be having at the rate emp id as int and i will be sending the email as worker so i will be having a length of 50 and i need to separate it with comma so we are going to send the procedure the email id and employee id and let's have the update query so update employee that email equal to the value i'll be receiving from the email parameter and where employee id equal to i'm going to put this employee id parameter value so whatever value i'll be getting for the employee id from the employee id parameters that will be used for the where clause and the email parameter will be used to update the new value for the employee so let me execute this query and this created the procedure and let's refresh it then we have the update employee data procedure created now let's execute the procedure with axsc then procedure name and i'll provide the parameters so let's say i am going to update the email id for the employee id 1 so for that i am going to send the parameter to the update employee data procedure in a sequence i have defined so first one will be the employee id and then email so let's have employee id 1 and let me update the email id uh, let me have it as pamela jackson 1 and let's execute this query so let's see the data in employee table and now the email is updated for employee id 1 similarly if i want to update any other email id let's say i want to update the email id for employee id 6 let me provide the updated email id for employee id 6 and let's say i'm going to update it with this and let me execute the select query to see whether this reflected so yes so this is changed with the latest email id i have sent through the parameter email into the procedure update employee data so this is how you can use a store procedure to update the data in a table we can also have a store procedure along with update insert and delete statement together and finally we will be having a select statement so in the next video i will be showing you more complex option So let's have a procedure to delete data in a table so i'll be taking 
the same procedure for update and let me change this name as delete employee data and i'll be only sending the employee id so let's say i'll be sending the employee id and based on that it will be deleting the data so here i'll be changing the query to delete employee and let me have the where clause only so delete employee where employee id with the employee id i'm receiving in the parameter so let me create this procedure by executing it and let's refresh and here we have the delete employee data procedure created so now let me execute the procedure but before executing the procedure let me select the data to see what we have and we have the data for employee id 1 to 6 and now let me execute the procedure with exec procedure and i need to provide the parameter for employee id so let's say i want to delete the data with the employee id 6 for that let me send 6 and execute and now we can see that the employee record with employee id 6 is deleted similarly i can send any id and it will be deleting so let's send 4 as employee id and let's see the data again and we can see that the data for employee id 4 is deleted so this is how you can use the store procedure to delete the data in a table even we can combine the insert update delete in one procedure based on our requirement i hope i could help you how to create store procedure using the insert update and delete options i'll be putting more and more complex scenarios in my upcoming video so if you have not subscribed my channel train me buddy so please do subscribe and stay tuned for the upcoming videos if you have any comments or suggestions please feel free to put it in the description below thank you